Hey there friends, this is Dan at ManyChat, and this is the second step to getting started with ManyChat. Uh, in this one we're going to show you how to set up a test broadcast and send it to yourself so you can see how powerful messenger marketing can be. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to Engage. We're going to create a new broadcast. And uh, in this case I'm going to update, uh, I'm going to send an update you know, asking about the health of your marketing funnel. So I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to type in these two curly Q brackets, and it's going to pull up this thing, which is awesome. You can put in people's first names, their last names, um, even the name of their page, and any custom fields that you have. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video. But first, we're just going to use their first name. Hey, first name. Quick question. How would you rate the... How health? Let me just phrase this differently. How healthy do you think? Actually, this is an even better way to do this is to ask binary questions. So, do you think your marketing funnel is as healthy as it should be? And what we're going to do is we're going to use quick replies. And these quick replies are really cool. Um, as soon as somebody taps on one of these quick replies, um, you can tag them. You can, you know trigger another sequence of messages. It's pretty neat. We're going to say um, definitely Lee. <laughs> and um, we're going to create another one. It says not, oops, we're going to go back to post. We're going to click on this again. Not exactly. All right, so this is a pretty simple question. What I'm trying to do is warm up my audience. And I'm going to say, hey, hey, first name. I, I just really want to know how's your marketing funnel performing? And I'm going to give them two answer, two things to t type back at me. So uh, not exactly. And what I'm going to do here is, OK, great to know. Would you be interested in training on how to improve your funnel? And then. I'm going to use a button this time, and a button is going to kind of just stay with the broadcast. It's going to stay with the content. I'm going to show you what I mean by that in just a little bit. Say um, yes. And then what I'm going to do is say, cool, oops, cool. Check out this presentation I made about core product value and how important it is for the m marketing funnel. And I'm going to drop a delay in here. And this delay block actually makes it look like somebody's typing organically, which is kind of interesting. Um, it gives you a degree of, it makes the whole broadcast seem a little bit more human. So I'm going to put that up to 9 seconds or 8 seconds just to see what that looks like. And uh, keep in mind that the delay block can't be the last block in your message. So let's just add the PDF. File downloads, videos, audio, all of this, anything less than 25 megabytes will, will work. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to find um, what is product marketing, which is a little presentation I put together for my clients a while ago, and I'm just going to drop that in. And it'll just take a second to upload. And uh, there it is. So let's go back and make sure that our other message are, messages are all fleshed out. I'm going to say, no thanks. I'm going to give them another option here. OK. No. Have a great rest of the day always want to give people a couple of options. You don't want to just lead them down the one path. You want to give people options. You can collect a lot of information about people on the way by giving them options. So again, what we're doing right now, and just in case you're tuning in now, is we're creating a test broadcast to send to ourselves. And I just want to show you a couple more things here. Um, we've created a f uh, an interaction flow for not exactly, and we need to create one for definitely. Hey, first name, quick question. Do you think your marketing funnel is as healthy as it should be? Definitely. Well, in that case, they, um, awesome, awesome to hear. <laughs> I'm glad your marketing funnel is performing very well. Um, 
have you considered using Facebook Messenger in your marketing stack? And I'm going to say, already do. And then I'm going to create another one that says, wait, what? Because <laughs> Messenger is such a new concept. Um, in the marketing world that some people don't even realize that you can do messenger marketing so already do awesome hopefully you can kind of see what's about to happen here when we test this wait what yeah so this is an interesting opportunity because I want to give somebody the chance to talk to me directly if they answer this if they've never heard of messenger marketing I'd love to have a live chat with them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a new action I'm going to notify admins. And I'm going to um, create a new message. Just a quick reply. Oh, wow. You're in for a treat. All right. So what's going to happen when somebody clicks, wait, what? Usually it's, it's going to mean that they've never heard of messenger marketing. What it's going to do is it's going to notify the admins, i.e. me and one other person on this page. And it's going to let me start a conversation with them in live chat, which is another tool that I'll show you a little bit later in another video. So press save. And let's go back and make sure that all of our messages are flushed out. And this is just a very simple broadcast that's really designed to um, qualify leads at the bottom of the funnel. So um, let's look and see a couple more things here. You can add images, which is neat. Um, you can add these different uh, types here like the card uh, you can drop an image here you can put titles these cards and galleries and lists are especially useful for e-commerce if you're um, you know displaying any of your products or services that's a really great way to do it all right this is the next step we're gonna do something that I think is really useful for everyone I think everyone should set up some kind of a flow like this and we're actually just gonna this is already saved here we have this nice auto save feature we're gonna go now and do something uh, to make sure that we can always test stuff in our own account so we're gonna go over to messenger we're going to start a new message with the page that we're working on in this case mine's called stealth product marketing management as of right now I'm not a subscriber to this page so as an admin I definitely want to be subscribed to be able to get all notifications and everything in Messenger. So I'm going to click the Get Started button. And just for good measure, I'm going to write Subscribe. And that's definitely going to make sure that I am subscribed to the page. So let's go back to uh, ManyChat, and I'm going to go to the Audience tab. This is just a little trick that I learned to make sure that you get your messages every time and also set you up for future testing. Let's go to the audience tab and we're going to find me right here. We're going to add the tag and we're going to put something like admin testing. This is a tag that you can add all of your admins to or anybody who's testing your page so that you can send test broadcasts and sequences and things like that to the right people. So let's just uh, click out of here and just double check one more time. Should be subscribed just might take a second to um, update all right so let's just refresh this and this is the coolest part of the broadcasting actually this is to marketers something that's super useful let's go to settings um, let's talk about these message types because I'm sending this to myself I can use any of these message types but basically um, what you're gonna be doing a lot of is subscription broadcasting and there's a couple of videos about the difference between subscription and promotional follow-up broadcasts. But just to give you a quick overview, this subscription broadcast type, you don't want to put any promotional material in there, which is why I asked the question first, like, what do you think, you know, what do you think is going on with your marketing funnel, for example? It's a great way to ask somebody a question, and then once they interact with you, that 24-hour window opens up, and you can start promoting things to them. So here's the targeting that I was telling you about. Check out this targeting. You just add a condition. And this is going to help you figure out who you're sending this to. Since we just set up that tag called admin testing, that should just contain us. Well, to finish testing this broadcast, all we have to do is click the preview button. I'm going to click that now. And as you can see in here, that notification just came through in Messenger. 
Um, let's see what this workflow looks like. So, hey Dan, quick question. Do you think your marketing funnel is as healthy as it should be? Um, not exactly. So that next message popped up just as we thought it would. Okay, great to know. Would you be interested in training on how to improve your funnel? Yes. Cool. Check out this presentation I made about core product value. Check out how it's typing almost like a human. Whatever is coming, I know it's going to be good. What is product marketing? And that PDF download came through like a charm. All right, that's how to test your first test broadcast. Send it to yourself, and uh, hopefully you get a gist of all the things that you can do with that broadcast.